this is a bonus clip here. Again, guys, why I am so critical or why I was so critical of Bill O'Boyle. Bill, none of my guys know their assignments, O'Boyle. Is that he's telling every every guy, you know, they're not on the field because they don't know their assignments. Well, it's kind of an issue when nobody knows their assignments, right? Especially after a period where you're on a bye week, okay? Where you got two weeks to prepare to really make sure that everybody knows their assignments, right? And I mean, just <laughs> look at this, man. You got three guys <laughs> going to their right. <laughs> Why? I don't know. You have a running back then identifying or, I, I don't know, still going to uh, the right as well. And you just have an ed edge rusher from the snap come free. <laughs> Takes a big hit on Shador, man. This is stuff, okay, you want to chalk it up to the players? Clearly they don't know what's going on, whatever. But I'm going to chalk this up to the, like, how is this so complicated, guys? I, I I don't know, but I think this is Wilty and Isaiah Jada right here. <laughs> From the get-go, man. From the get-go. Both of these guys <laughs> just run into the right. <laughs> and <laughs> You get an NFL draft pick right here that just has a free run at the quarterback. This is the kind of stuff that I was that I saw that people like Matt McChesney is calling out saying what is going on where these guys are not communicating, understanding what's going on. You see Van Wells is turned inside. Are you really expecting him to come in and block an edge rusher? I mean, you just <laughs> Again, guys. That's why it's like, man, with this offensive line making a jump from being one of the worst in college football to even being ranked, you know, 60th in the country, I think is something that I'm hoping for and I think would be a substantial improvement on this offense. Um, to me, that sort of stuff is just inexcusable and it really makes me wonder what... <laughs> What the hell were you telling these guys in the meeting room? Or how the hell were you not getting these guys' attention to understand what was going on on the field? After a two-week bi-week period, or a two-week period where you have a bye week preparing for an opponent, like this type of stuff to me was like totally inexcusable. And it makes sense of like why after this game was seeing some of the stuff that I was pointing out with some of the offensive play design and what was going on in the offensive line why coach prime was like yeah you know what after this game pat Shermer, we need you to come down here not only be the play caller but also the the uh, uh, offensive line coach 